What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I'm gonna give you three tips to speed up your workflow. These are things that have worked for me, so I'm happy to share them with you so you can speed up your workflow, get more work done, because you know it's about you. Time is important, we don't mean wasting time, and these shortcuts will help you to take some of that time back. So tip number one is templates. Create templates. Like, for me, I've got templates for almost everything that I do. So I've got templates for making beats, different genres, rap, afro beats. So if I want to make a beat, I've got a template for that. If I want to record an artist, I've got a template for that. If I want to mix a beat with some vocals, I've got a template for that. If I want to master, I've got a template for that. <laughs> so what I'm saying is create templates. It will speed up your time. You don't want to go to every session and then open up Logic, wait for it to do its thing, wait for it to go through the plugins that you've got. And then you've got a blank session. And by that time, creativity is gone. This is another thing as well, it's not only going to speed up your workflow, but it's going to help you to get your ideas down quick. That's helped me. It's definitely helped me. So I believe it will help you. Tip number two is shortcuts. Know your shortcuts. Knowing your shortcuts is, yeah, it's important. And it helps you so much because you can get stuff done quick, quicker. You ain't fraffing around trying to, I don't know. Let's see what we've got here. So my, my cursor is on arrow and marquee tool. And this allows me to, to just speed through whatever I'm doing. I can, I can highlight something, I can cut, paste quickly, I can remove stuff. If you're using MIDI as well, and you wanna quickly bring up the MIDI pattern that you, that you selected, press P, it will bring up all the MIDI at the bottom. Um, press, I don't know if you wanna look at the file, just double click, you've got the file. If you want to join two regions together, highlight both regions, hit J. You know what I'm saying? Simple little things like that will speed up your workflow so much more. It will speed up your workflow. Plus, when people are in the studio with you as well and they see you flying through, they're like, okay, <laughs> this, this guy knows what he's doing. Know your shortcuts. It's important. Number Tip number three is to create go-to folders. So you might have done a session with someone or you might have made a beat or you've got some new synths, new synth sounds, or you've got some new plugins. Create folders so that you can, you know, oh, I've got this new plugin to, to saturate. You've created a folder for your new plugins. You can just go to that. Rather, have, rather than having to go through all your other plugins just to find this one new one. This helps so much, especially with, with for me, when I'm uh, like, I'll probably find some new ways of mixing vocals and I've used like a, a different plugin that I don't normally use then I will just, I'll just put that in a folder. I might even call that folder uh, Rap Chain plugin. Rap, new Rap Chain 2K19 or something like that. And I'll have these plugins in that one go-to folder, which makes my life so much more easier and makes things, speeds up the process. So yeah, that's my three tips. Tip one, create templates. Tip two, learn your shortcuts. Tip three, have go-to folders. Hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified any time I put up a new video and make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Even if you haven't got no questions or you just want to chop it up, vibe, see what I'm putting on my stories and stuff, hit me up on Instagram. Drop a comment below if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to get back to you and reply. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.